Hello and welcome back. Today I am going to talk to you about the theories of evolution. A number of theories have been put forward to explain the method of evolution for formation of new species. A lot of theories are here. Today I am going to discuss about Lamarckes. This is the first theory of evolution which was proposed by Jean Baptiste de Lamarck, a French biologist. His famous book Philosophic Geologic was published in 1809, which is based on his theory Lamarckes. There are four main propositions of this theory. First is internal vital force. It means all the living things and their component parts are continuously increased due to the internal vital force. Next is effect of environment and new needs. It means environment influences all types of organisms. A change in environment brings about change in organisms. It gives rise to new needs or desires to produce new structure and change and change the habit of the organism. Next is use and disuse of organs. It means if an organ is constantly used, it would be better developed. Whereas disuse of organ results in the degeneration and finally it may be disappear. Next is inheritance of acquired characters. Uh, this is based on the above uh, three propositions. It means whatever an individual acquires and, uh, acqu uh, in its lifetime due to the internal vital force and the effective uh, environment, new needs and the use and disuse of organs, they are inherited to the next generation. Um, here are some examples which support the Lamarckes. First is giraffe. The ancestors of giraffe were bearing a small neck and the forelimbs were also like horses. But as they were living in place with no surface vegetation, they had to stretch their neck and forelimbs to take the leaves of the foods, and which results in the slight elongation of the neck and forelimb. Next is snake. The snake have been evolved from lizard-like ancestor, which were having two pairs of limbs. These lizards-like ancestor of the snakes felt insecure from the mammals of that time. Actually, they were more powerful and numerous in number. To escape from that the mammals, um, these the ancestor of these snakes started living in the narrow holes and thick jungles. To accommodate their body in narrow space, they could not use their limbs. That is why the limbs were gradually reduced and finally disappear with their body and when their body become longer and cylindrical. Next is flightless birds. The ancestors of flightless birds were capable of flying. But due to some environment factors, and they had plenty of food and were well protected also. So they did not use their wings and that is why their wings become vestigial. Next is cave dwellers. The ancestors of cave dwellers had normal eyesight. On account of living continuously in the dark condition, these animals lost their power of um, reason. Uh, thank you for watching my video. I will discuss some more theories of evolution in my next video.